Hey guys, it's Spring Plush Adventures. Oh, and today we're gonna be reviewing these, you know, the, the new Arcade Man plushies. So, uh, yesterday, no, it was Monday, it was my birthday, and we went out to shopping and stuff. And I told my dad I stopped by random GameStop. I walk in and I saw the entire set, so I got them all. And, you know, they're actually pretty good, um, aside from, you know, printed on ties and stuff. But we'll get to that later. But, uh, we're gonna be going in order by, like, just look from left to right. So, first, we got, uh, System Air Toy Bonnie. Now, this is obviously not the, the actual original Toy Bonnie pattern. It's, like, it's the Spring Bonnie pattern, obviously, and I think that, and the thing that gives it away is the head, mainly the snout. Because Spring Bonnie does have, like, like, his or her own, like, distinct snout. So, they reuse that to Toy Bonnie, and I think, like, it looks better because of it, because Toy Bonnie was ugly. And the ears they actually do look like Toy Bonnie ears, even if this one's a bit like, like crumpled, like right here. But as you can see, they, the ears do look like Toy Bonnie's ears. They have even like the little waves that the arms have. I'm, not, I'm glad they didn't do it like on the entire plush. They just kind of did some subtlety with it. I wish this bow tie wasn't printed, but you know, like Glamrock Freddy already kind of did it. But, like, System Air, yeah, System Air, which is really nice. I also think this shiny material works for them. It just fits these characters. Well, yeah, because, like, you know, these guys kind of like glow and stuff, and, and, like, they couldn't really do that, so they just made him metallic. Or it makes more sense than Phantom Foxy. And, like, the ears, they, I don't mind them as much. Um, the eyes, they're nice. They're nice. I like the white eyebrows. I just like the color white, like the white nose, white freckles. I think they complement like the red and yellows or like gold very well. Even has like the little scan outline, which I like how it's a bit subtle, so it doesn't like jut out, jut out like a flower. Like it's just kind of subtle, and it goes around the whole plush except for right there. It's kind of annoying, but overall, good plushie. I'd give it like an eight, like an eight point five or a nine out of ten. Really good plushie. I love them. Next up, we got VR Toy Freddy. Now, this isn't the original Toy Freddy pattern. Again, for some reason, like, the Toy Freddy pattern was really good. If I grab the restock I got, as you can see, they're different. Like, they look similar enough, because, like, the Freddy's. But, like, still, this is, like, more of, like, Helpy, because it has, like, the three seams at the bottom, if you look carefully. Just like Helpy, it's also a bit, like, shorter than normal Toy Freddy, which is what Helpy was. But this is still a nice plushie. I wish they, they kept the, the ribbon on a set. This has also, like, Frostbear, another, like, a new material. It's not like that material. It's, like, kind of like those silver Pokemon plushies, just smoother. Though the hat does kind of get wrinkled up because of it. But the, the, the VR headset, it's nice and 3D. It's actually, like, puffing out, which I think is really nice. And, you know, I like the little smile. It's a little cuter. And the nose. The nose is, like... It's embroidered, and then the inside is, like, the normal Freddy hat pattern. Not pattern, but, like, material like this. So, like, and, yeah, the cheeks are printed, the bow ties printed. Like, I wish the buttons weren't, because the buttons don't really translate well printed. They just kind of look like random, cur like, pink curves on them. But, yeah, he has the outline again. I think this might be, like, like the slightest shade lighter of purple than this, which is definitely strange. And he also doesn't have any, like, inner ear color on, like, most Freddies. So that's kind of weird. That's a little bit of hair. But, you know, overall, nice plushie. I'd give him... Hmm. Oh, crap. Sorry. I'd give him, like, a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. Not as good as Sister Mary Toy Bonnie, but definitely my second favorite of the wave. Let's get into that. Now we have uh, High Score Toy Ch Chica, now, this is almost exactly like, uh, it's more of the, uh, Glamrock Chica pattern, which was Toy Chica, they just, for some reason, they just didn't give him the, the little feet, so, it kind of looks weird, oh my god, the camera's being so weird, but, like, as you can see, uh, it's got the night this nice metallic dark blue, which I think it looks cool, and, like, the high, the bib is, like, not printed, but it's not, like, a separate flap, either, it's, like, a, embroidered and then the high score part is printed and it's not as clear crisp as system air on system air toy bonnie it's a bit more blurry 
but you know it doesn't really bother me that much it's clear enough and it's got these cool little pickles pixels that actually look really cool it's got the outline again though the and the eyebrows are a bit more visible here she this one she definitely looks better a bit better she definitely looks better in person but not my favorite she's probably my second least favorite and like but yeah i mean not only really much to say it's kind of just you know Glamrock Chica without the pop out eyes metallic blue. But still, I give her. Hmm. He, I'll give her a 7 out of 10. Not bad, just. Not as uh, cool as these two. Now, definitely the worst of the wave is Radioactive Foxy. Ooh, this one. He's kind of rough. I still like him, but he's just alright. For starters. Freddy nose on a boxy plush. That's just weird. They've never done that until now. It's kind of like Helpio. He had like a like a boxy nose instead of a Freddy nose. And the snout points a bit too far down, and it's a bit too short. I'm pretty sure this is like the Captain Foxy base, just a bit more chunky. Because what everyone was mentioning, what most people were mentioning about Grim Foxy was that he was a bit chubbier than bulkier than normal fo than the other foxies seems if recent foxies have just been getting a bit chunkier these ears definitely feel the most stiff out of any foxy i've had i don't know i like the darkness of them i don't mind the eyes much as some people do but it definitely still should have been just yellow the endo it's good enough for an endo i like the patch of withering right here at a different color um it seems as if his head yeah his head's darker than his body which i guess it's kind of like his center is glowing, but then it gets a bit dimmer as it goes to the rest of his body. But these arms kind of contradict that. But, you know, he's missing his eye, so, you know, they kind of just made an eye patch without the patch part. The feathers, they're nice. The color is nice, and it's got this nice yellow outline. This hook, it should have been two hooks. It's literally the, the, the key feature on Radioactive Foxes is two big hooks, but no... To just recolored Captain Foxy's hook and the yellow and just did that. Didn't even duplicate it. It's got the, the little wires, which kind of like he's still not bad per se, but he's also not good. I I'd give him like a six out of ten, like a five. Like he's just all right. I don't hate him as much as some people do, but I I definitely understand why. Like he could have been better. Like. Yeah, so, 6 out of 10. Yeah. So, yeah, that was all the uh, the, the new uh, AR plushies. Now, I did, just, a, just an hour, a couple hours ago, I did pre-order Livewire Toy Freddy. So, he should be here at some point next month. And I did order Chocolate Freddy, so once I get him, I'll try to review him. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, overall, pretty good wave. I, I think this wave was nice. You know, not too bad. I, it's a bit of a controversial wave at the moment, but I, I think they're nice. So, I'd give the whole wave like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I don't really know how to rank rank waves. It's, it's definitely a step up from a, a the spring colorway wave, because that wave wasn't really that good. And it's better than the, than the Scary Reach Blacklight wave, even though that wave was cool. It's just hard to get, because it was an entire wave of just exclusives. It wasn't like normal wave but like i don't think these are better than frost bear or chocolate bonnie like because frost bear is probably my favorite then chocolate bonnie then system air toy bonnie then br toy freddy uh then high score toy chica then shamrock and then <sighs> right after foxy and it's Anna. they didn't make toxic spring trap hopefully he'll He'll get a plush one day. So yeah, let me let me go get like the other two official Funko uh, AR plushies real quick. Here's all our, here are all the Funko official FNAF AR plushies all lined up. I have so far, and they don't look too bad together. I think they look nice. I'm gonna go get, and then we got uh, the bootleg Easter Bonnie, which is a really nice bootleg plush. I love this guy. He's just super cute. I think they I think they did them well, aside from the tag being missing. A few colors. So yeah, that's all of them lined up. 
And then let me just get this out because you know it's technically a FNAF AR character. My custom clown spring trap that I made a while back. Yeah, this is kind of weird. It's my first time covering an entire plushy body with just fabric. I think I did a decent job. He's he's cool. Made him out of a fanny. So here they all are. So yeah, this this wave was really nice. I actually really did like it. I like the uh, creativity with it. I like how they didn't just use normal fabric. They used the metallic fabric that fits them. Uh, they fixed Toy Bonnie with this guy. He's super cute. I love him. I love his simplified big ol' eyes. They make him just look so cute. And VR Toy Freddy, I love his smile. The smile makes him look really cute and just quirky. I love the VR. And I like the hat. The hat's really nice, too. It's half from the wrinkled. High score Toy Chica. It's high score Toy Chica, and then Radioactive Foxy's there. So, yeah, uh, if I had to, I would recommend all of these, but if I had a choice to pick up one first, it'd either be these two. I feel like this one's gonna get picked up a lot more. First, mainly because it's VR Toy Friday, and it's more, the most popular out of, uh, the Toy Arcane Man characters. I don't know if it's more popular than Ape the Baby, but I don't know. But yeah, all these plushies, I'd, I'd say, are really nice. I'd recommend all of them, but definitely get this guy last. Definitely. So, next review might just be another random F FNAF plush, or most likely just Chocolate Freddy. So, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, you know? Like and subscribe to the channel. Now, since I haven't made a video, a plush episode with the toys yet, uh, radio it won't appear yet. Since I do have Foxy, uh, Radio Radioactive Foxy will most likely be the first one of these new characters to be implemented into the series. Also, I want to get make the, the Toxic Spring Trap action figure review, but I just haven't really had motivation or really had any ideas to. So, that's just an update on things. I've also been busy with school, so yeah. So, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.